Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is <laughs> day four here on our journey to the moon where we need to set up a moon base. So we've been traveling along. We've been uh, checking out asteroids, trying to find different ores, and I have cruised on over to another set of asteroids. Let me kind of turn this down. You can kind of see them down over and in there. Now we're kind of in the dark side, so we're gonna check out these asteroids today and see what we can find on there. I've got the solar panels that are recharging. If we look at our battery, we should see, click on, there we go, click on the battery, uh, fully recharged in 11 hours. So it is, uh, ever so slowly adding power on our stored power you see 1.82 and I think that's the case with both batteries so we're going to try to keep continually storing power and hopefully not using up too much of it we always have the hydrogen engines to uh, do a recharge if we have to but we need to have ice for that as well so let's uh, cruise on over well first off as uh, suggested and one of the things i was going to do is i want to see if i can put a light on the front end of this but this was suggested by one of the subscribers and it's a great idea because when we start trying to do some ore detecting and we get on the dark side of these asteroids it does make it awful difficult to see what we're doing so let's uh, hop out of the seat here and I think what I want to try to do is put a spotlight on the front of the ship. All right. An interior light uh, probably doesn't give much distance. So let's, let's do this. Let's bring up our lights. And we got spotlights here. Let's uh, just drop this down. And that takes construction components, interior plates. I think we can get by without the bulletproof glass, but let's see if we can... Uh, uh, cannot... Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Oh, I got... Uh, let's uh, delete that, delete that, delete that. Now let's try this again. Bye. And I do not need the bulletproof glass so let's uh let's see if we can attach this to the front all right i think we can put it either onto the side here right there like that or we can put it on the bottom I think that bottom looks better let's go ahead and attach it right there Oop, that's not what I wanted to do uh, I hit the wrong button let's get control one get back to our welder and let's see if we can weld this thing up. There we go. All right, let's, uh, let's go inside now. And we can... Uh, go ahead and set this onto the hot bar so if we go G we've got a spotlight we want this uh, to turn this toggle block on and off it's currently on let's uh, close this now let's see what our spotlight is set up for here and radius Uh, let's go 
300 feet or 300 meters and let's uh, just start cruising in we can see these dang things out here uh, it should be right square in front of us I can barely see the outline on it and let's turn on the ore detector top outside of the ship here boy it's dark over here one of the mods I'm using is a Milky Way mod and it really is dark what it should be actually all right we're closing in on it let's see what this asteroid has to offer us go back inside okay so we kind of start to see the asteroid here we really would love to find some iron Nothing is showing up yet. Kind of hoping that something would pop up here. get out and just kind of fly around a little bit. Should be close enough. Kind of going over this away and see what we got. what I'm going to cruise around these asteroids and if I find anything uh, I'll get back with you all here in just a little bit well I didn't find much of anything in this asteroid and the only, about the only thing I was able to do was there was an unknown signal that popped up so I went and got it which had uh, actually quite a few computers in it which is going to be handy because at some point I need to make a, a full-blown assembler and so once we do that, then that will really help in building stuff. But I think it's time to move on to the next set of asteroids. Let's see if we can kind of get out of here. There's our objective. Let's, uh, let's see if we can kind of move through here without damaging the ship. Kind of squeeze through this little area right here. should be pretty good. Let's take a view from the outside. It's really hard to see. It is dark. Looks like we're clear. Alright, I'm going back inside. Let's uh, kind of get set and start aiming for the moon here. And I'm going to turn the spotlight off and turn that off, the ore detector, so that we're not using up uh, fuel. And so let's uh, just start heading towards the moon. And when I get to the next set of asteroids, I'll uh, catch back up with you all and see if we can't find some more ores. 
Okay. Well, I have managed to move on to some different asteroids. And as you can see, I found some iron. So we're going to cruise over to this asteroid over here. And we're going to start mining some of this uh, iron because that's what we really need. We're going to need to get at least quite a bit of this so that we'll have enough to make some steel. And because there's a lot of lot a lot of parts that uh, use iron, but it's one of the main components. I also was able to get another unknown signal, which gave us some interior plates is going to be useful with uh, some of the stuff that we need to build and let's uh, speed this up just a little bit more but not too fast so we're not really aimed right at and then there's some other asteroids in the area too that uh, as you can see up there in the kind of up towards off to the left of the iron there's an asteroid there Hopefully we've got some ice in there, and then that's going to be useful for us as well. So we can uh, stock up on ice to make sure we have plenty of uh, oxygen. And then the moon is getting a little larger, so hopefully what we would like to be able to do is get over there or get close enough to where we're in about somewhere between 25 and 30 kilometers from the moon and then we want to start making our first outpost which once we get there and hopefully it's a decent enough asteroid that it will give us enough materials in the area because what we want to do is set up an outpost which will give us the ability to with a, a full-blown refinery and assembler uh, some batteries, uh, a survival kit that we can set up. So should we need a backup place to spawn, it will allow us to do that. All right, we are starting to close in on this. Start slowing this down just a little bit so we can start uh, kind of aiming oh we've kind of fallen oh we're in gravity so we're not going to spend too much time here I don't want to get into the earth's gravity because that is going to create a lot of problems anyway so we're going to be here just long enough to some iron mining and then get out of the gravity well all right let's get over here I did not realize we were that close let's see how we're positioned towards the Sun all right where's that Sun after got light here okay it's right there Let's see if we can kind of swing around. Well, let's go back into the cab here. We can get to where we're at least facing. There we go. All right. Does that, uh, yeah, that's given us. Uh, our solar panels are picking up a fairly good amount of uh, light. All right, so let's uh, pop out. Yeah, we are in gravity. Uh, let's uh, get turned around here. All right, down we go. Oh, man. This is why I didn't want to get into gravity. All right, let's just do it like this. Let's come over here. And we'll 
we'll just use our jet pack to get in and out. We may not be staying here very long. Again, I did not want to get into gravity. Maybe long enough to get a couple of couple of loads of iron. Any little bit of iron will help. All right, there we go. All right, let's... All right once I start getting this iron uh, and we get the loaded loaded up, I'll catch back up with you all. All right, I've been mining some iron. As you can see, we've got uh, a little over uh, 10,000, uh, what is that, uh, kilograms in the basic refinery right now. Let's go ahead and pop that in there, the rest of it. We've got uh, 6.89 uh, kilograms there, so we've got a bit of iron. I think at this point, uh, I want to Go ahead and get out of the gravity well and see if we can't fly out of here. This is a bit of a pain in the butt when you have to deal with gravity. I think we're basically upside down at the moment, but let's see if we can get in here and get into our seat. And there we go. All right. So let's see if we can head back out to these other asteroids. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the uh, dampeners off and let's start uh, heading over here and see if we can get back out of the gravity well. We're at uh, 0 0.05 right now and it, we are moving away. All right. But that does give us some iron, which is what we were hoping for. And again, I think we are basically upside down, uh, according to the gravity. Once we get out of here, there we go. We're out of the gravity well. We don't want to find asteroids that's in the gravity well. That uh, creates a lot of problems when you're trying to build. At least for me, it does. Uh, there's probably a lot of easier ways to take care of that. So once I get over to these next set of asteroids, then uh, I'll look, catch back up with y'all and see what we can find in these. Well, I didn't find too much more back there at those asteroids. I found uh, some more cobalt and I found some more silicon. So I think the next best thing to do is start heading towards the moon uh, so that we can get there. We need to start getting an outpost built. And I was hoping to get uh, to within, you know, I'd like to be within uh, 25 to 30 kilometers of the moon. With the idea of building an outpost, so that we are within a reasonable amount should the inevitable happen and we run into space pirates or something like that down there on the moon and we have to rely on respawning at our outpost. I don't want to be too far from the moon and from our main base. So I am going to kind of set course towards the moon here and then once I start getting uh, a much, much closer, then I'll catch back up with you all. Well, we are getting closer to the moon. Uh, here's the respawn pod, our uh, ship. And I've got it parked to where it is uh, collecting uh, solar. So we're getting some power build up. We were getting close to this, uh, looks like an ice asteroid. And so I thought it would be a good idea to stop and just grab a little bit of ice. Maybe mark this. Let's pull this out. This should all be ice. Yeah, it is. And so actually, let me go ahead and mark this. We'll grab a little bit of ice, another load or two here, and then we'll start making our way. We're getting closer. Those next set of asteroids that you can see off over there between here and the moon, 
might be a potential area for an outpost if we're feeling like we're close enough to the moon. Uh, but let me go ahead and mark this as an ice asteroid. Uh, new from current. Ice. Asteroid. And there. All right. Uh, I see another unidentified signal popped up, but it's over 6,000 kilometers away. So let's actually let's do this let's go ahead and turn it off no reason to have it on the clipboard so let's turn that off and we're not going to get this unknown signal let's turn that off as well all right let me uh let's go ahead and hop right down and in here this looks like a good spot and this should be pretty much all ice. We'll try to capture as much as we can. I don't want any of those kind of floating around. I've got uh, cleanup turned off. And I don't want to have a lot of those debris flying around. All right. Let's take this back to the ship. Where's our respawn ship at? There we go. And we'll get a couple of these and we'll get back on our merry way here. So once I get this second batch of ice and I'm on my way, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. All right, we are here at a, the next set of asteroids which I think is where we want to put our first outpost. Uh, I can already see some uh, ore of some kind. It's either going to be cobalt or probably magnesium, one of those two. I can see that on that asteroid. So let's go ahead and close in a little closer up here. And I think we, hopefully, this will have a decent enough spot that we can actually put an outpost in and we are getting close to the moon so uh, but we will be spending some time here let's turn our searchlight on and we might as well turn our ore detector on and then we're gonna get in fairly close here again I make sure we're not uh, hitting anything here all right I think we want to cruise over to where that ore deposit is let's hop back inside that way we face into the Sun and then we can explore these asteroids here a little bit into the sun yeah that looks like cobalt or magnesium it's cobalt just popped up on the screen there all right let's get turned and facing into the sun all right uh, I think we can turn these off and let's uh, hop out of the seat and let's fly around here a little bit you know we just got this update from Keen and one thing is I've noticed is that all of a sudden there's no space pirates none of the other factions are spawning uh, I don't know if they broke it which probably wouldn't surprise me uh, which it's kind of notorious for keen breaking something when they release something new yeah that's that cobalt let's see how this looks for a potential base can't 
really see much of anything here. And... Got plenty of other asteroids around. Oh, we got silver here. Uh, that's... Yeah, let's go ahead and note that. I think this will... It's going to be a good spot. One of these asteroids in this area here. But let's go ahead and mark this silver. Current... All right, we got that marked. Uh, let's just pull back a little bit. A bit fragmented. I don't know if it will be that good. We at least got some minerals on there. Let's uh, cruise over. Let's see. Well, where is... Let's cruise over to that asteroid over there. Let's see how it looks. It might be pretty good. It doesn't look quite as fragmented. But yeah, I haven't seen any other faction or space pirates or anything that has spawned since we've gotten that new update. I have seen the unidentified signals spawn. I hope they didn't break up. Hopefully they're aware of it. I'll probably check the uh, discussion groups here once I get done today and just see if there's anything out there that uh, people are saying. And let's see if we can find anything. great if we found an iron deposit here. This does look like a pretty good asteroid, though. And, well, right on cue, there it is, an iron deposit. All right, so we are going to mark iron. I'm going to go ahead and mark this iron. And then we're going to mark this as a... All right, there you go. All right, let's go ahead and mark the iron. Uh, new current. Iron, perfect, okay. And uh, so let's just kind of see where we want to maybe even build a temporary base on that. Let's. I'm thinking maybe somewhere along this edge right here. This way we can put our solar panels right up here on top because we're going to have to have uh, something to replenish our power for our batteries. So I think right here. So going to mark this as a outpost. All right. And with that iron, that really help out a lot. Outpost number one. Perfect. All right. So let's fly back to the ship. And we can move it over here. Then that'll just about do it for today, I believe. And then next episode, we'll get started building on our outpost. Which we'll spend a few days getting the outpost built. And then at that point, we'll be ready to head down to the uh, moon's surface. We from, from here, we can see quite a few craters and stuff on the moon. 
Uh, there's a lot of other asteroids around the area, so we should be able to find our most all of the minerals and ores that we need. So, all right. So we've already found iron and cobalt here in the region. And I wouldn't be surprised. We should be able to find uh, silicon and nickel at some point. Although we got quite a bit of that. Very good. All right, we're back. Hop in here. Okay. Where are we heading to? Out of here. Where are they? Could be off over that direction. All right, we should be online for it. There they are. All right, let's get over there. Okay, well, I know it wasn't too exciting of a video today. We didn't get a lot done. We added a light to the ship. We found uh, some iron we were able to mine, and we made quite a bit of progress getting towards the moon. And we actually found where we want to put our outpost base. So, you know, we got stuff accomplished, but again, maybe not have been just as exciting as we would have liked for it to be today. So, here we go. Let's get over here. Let's kick this up a little bit so we can get there at some point. We just don't want to crash into the asteroid is all. With that iron, then we should be able to make plenty of uh, steel plates which will allow us to really start uh, being able to uh, set up this outpost. And in the next episode, I think what I want to do is be able to make the uh, miner that I have in, in mind, which we will need ice, so we're going to have to find some ice in the area, which we should be able to. And I don't think we're all that far from that ice asteroid. Uh, maybe a little farther than I'd like to travel, but... Hopefully we can find some more ice here in the area. All right, almost there. Start slowing this down just a little bit. All right, we're cruising in.
I try never to aim to when I'm getting closer to these asteroids. I try not to aim directly at them, just in case I miscalculate. That would be a bad thing to do. All right, let's cruise on over here. All right, this is probably pretty good. Let's uh, get turned into the sun. I think is this a way? Be back around here. There it is. That way our ship is getting charged up. Okay, back inside. Let's check out our batteries. Let's see how they look. Battery A. Uh, we are... Are, oh, we are down quite a bit on our power. We need to... Yeah, it's probably good here to hang out here. Yeah, both batteries are down. We might actually even have to fire up the hydrogen generators on the next one, but we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, so as long as it's in the sun, we're in pretty good shape. All right, let's uh, hop out of the sea here. Oop, that's not hopping it out. This is hopping out. All right. Well, I'm going to, I guess, I think this is pretty good right here. Okay, well, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. All right, all you space engineers out there, keep building away. Keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.